Hey guys, today I just wanted to make a quick video on how to produce a video so that you can upload it to a website or YouTube or just have it on your computer. So usually when you record the content it has a set resolution or if you're importing it from a camera it has a set resolution. So you'll probably want to keep that at that or um, downgrade it to like say from 1080p to 720p. Um, so here my monitor is a 1366 by 768 and so that's what I want the dimensions to be. I could change it but I don't want to. So if you wanted to change your resolution then again you'd click here and you can edit that. Um, as far as producing it you would just hit produce and share and then you have a bunch of different options that are predefined for you. You can share it directly to YouTube, you can put in your username and it will directly put it up there. I like to actually save it to the computer. So typically I would suggest creating a custom setting. So you can see here that I have two different ones, one for my Trench Tech channel and one for a VG Critic channel. Um, so I have those custom made but all they are is MP4. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you those. We can add or edit a preset here. Again, you want MP4, but we'll show you the settings that I have here for Trench Tech. So I have it be an MP4 because all the other ones aren't very good. Click Next. You can have it produce it so that it can be embedded on a website, but I don't want it to create that content, so I have that unchecked. I have it use whatever size I edited the video in, so you can see that right here, the 1366 by 768. As far as video settings, I have an automatic frame rate, I have a 5 seconds for the keyframe, and then I have the 100% quality, and then baseline and auto. And then for the audio, I just have 96 kilobytes per second. So nothing huge, not really anyone's going to care if it's better than that. You could upgrade the sound, but it just makes the file even bigger. I also have it put a watermark, that's not required, but you can kind of pick where you want it to be, you can pick the size and whether it's transparent or not, um, so it does add a nice effect to the videos. So that's what I use, you can just automatically share it to YouTube, you can just automatically pick one of these and it will just set it up nice for you. Um, but basically once you pick one of these, you click next. It asks you what you want it to save as and whether you want to organize the file and then you can have it play itself once it's done. I usually don't do that because I'll just go and watch it myself or I'll just directly upload it to YouTube and watch it. Um, if you did save the file it will just, um, or excuse me, save the project, it will automatically put the project name in there and then just click finish and it will produce the video for you. So if you have questions on how to do something with Camtasia or something at all with your computer, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.